Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where or when you're watching this. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It has been one hellacious week at work, I tell you. It's just, it's been just that kind of a week. Hopefully the weekend will be a little bit smoother. And I hope you didn't have that kind of a week. I hope you had a great week. And it's Friday. Let's celebrate. Yay! Thank God it's Friday. It's been a rough week. I feel like I need a drink. And I'm wearing my Carnival Cruise Line t-shirt, One Voyage. I figured let's go on something that we I would get on Carnival at the Alchemy Bar. I'm going to use Vanillet's Bad Basil, made after an idea that I pitched to uh, Monica over at uh, Vanillet about a drink from the Alchemy Bar called the Restorative Basil Drop. Vodka, mint, mostly basil, citrus, and all that good stuff. So I've already got a lather starting to go. Got some lather in there. I'm using a my mini Omega brush. And we're gonna finish with the matching splash and balm, but we're also gonna do a little bit of unboxing today. Yeah, something new. From my friends over at Parker. 78R in the satin chrome. It's the first time I'm opening it. I'm going to take it out and we're going to see it together. Well, right now all you see is a box. <laughs> Let's turn it around. There it is. There she is. It's a three-piece design. Weighs in at a just about three ounces. It's not as heavy as my 99R, my one-piece butterfly, but this is a three-piece design. Parker sent some, some blades, hasn't been opened. There's the three-piece. Scalloped bar, very nice. Nice knurling on that handle. I tell you, that's that's going to be a nice grip. Wish it was a little thicker, but hey, you know, can't get everything. Well, you can sometimes, depending on how much you want to pay for it. So, I'm not going to pop this open. I'm going to use these at another time. Put these over here. And I'm going to load this up with one of my favorites. My statin. Let's just get it ready. They say that this is supposed to be a mild, yet effective razor. Suitable for both men and women. Well, other than legs, I don't know too many men, women that shave their faces. But I understand that they do. You know, uh, there's a dermaplaner out there that people, I don't understand it. Maybe somebody who's a cosmetics expert can explain that to me. One of these days, nice fit. There's no, no blade overhang on that. That's the exposure, not too terrible. It's gonna be a mild shave. I could use a mild shave. Let's see if it lined up right. Yeah, looks like it's lined up right. All right, let's remove the glasses. I've already taken care of two of the three S's. I'm gonna get some water on my face because you know, hydration is very important when you're shaving. Let's get this on here. Let's just mix this up a little bit more. And let's get this on. Not bad basil. The soap itself is mentholated which makes the basil bad. Bad basil. Mm. 
is how they get the essential oils out of the basil at the alchemy bar. They slap the basil in between their hands. Mm, nice. And you can feel the, the menthol. There we go. Get a little cold water on this bad boy here. Let's get to get to the shaving here, shall we? Yeah. This has a very mild feel. Not a lot, lot of blade feel on it. That felt pretty good. Nice and smooth. It, it is a mild razor. It sounds like it's getting everything that it's supposed to get. Nice and smooth. So, you know what I would compare it to? Maybe a Henson, but who knows? I don't think so. I can hear the birds tweeting outside the window. So what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything special? I know the boys are getting their T-Ball awards. There is some residual, because I'm just going over some little spots that I usually have issues with. Hmm. Nice. Mild but effective, how they say. Let me just add a little more light on this. Maybe. That's a little better, I think. Do a second pass. There we go. Ready for pass number two. Additional ones, why not?
I know for me, Sunday, church, usual. Where else would you find me on a, on a deacon on Sunday? The track? Racetrack, I mean, it's not the running track. Casino? And this Sunday, here in the Diocese of Austin, they celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. Back in New York, we did the traditional celebration, Ascension Thursday, which is what it was called. But for some reason, they, they transferred it to the Sunday down here. I don't make the rules. I just have to follow them. I remember when I moved down here to Austin. And Ascension Thursday came up first time. I went to my local parish because it is a holy day of obligation on a third or it falls on a third they do it on thursday and they weren't celebrating the mass of the ascension imagine my surprise So I spoke to the, the pastor over there and he explained to me that in Austin they celebrated on the Sunday. Very interesting, to say the least. So, those are my plans pretty much for the weekend. Nice. Just the usual suspect spots. You know? And as you continue to shave, you can feel the, 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 the menthol and you get more of the, you almost want to drink the lather, but don't do that. Safety tip, pro tip, don't drink the lather. The knurling on this is nice. No, 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 no slipping, no. My granddaughter, Lucy, is having her band concert tonight.
And when she told me she was going to play in the band, I immediately said, well, what are you going to play? The, the, the saxophone, the flute? Because these are instruments that I played in junior high and high school and still do. I had instruments. I could help her with them. She's playing the euphonium. Kind of like a baritone horn. <laughs> the horn is bigger than she is. There's a little spot there. Just noticed it. Operator error. Probably because I was talking. Buff that out a little bit. There we go. Final warm water rinse. Hmm. I want to hit this a little bit more because it's there we go. Much better. A little bit of water out. Let's do a cold water. Very nice. Mild, but effective, as, as Parker said. And Parker didn't lie. Let's see how we do with the album look. Got one little spot. But not one, nothing. No, not a, just that one little spot where that little weeper was. Nice. Let's give it a little Frankie, Frankie towel dry. It's good. Hand action. <laughs> Friday. A little back. There we go. Once again, no ingesting of the alum. Face is nice. Let's Shake up a little mentholated bad basil splash. Splash you can get with or without, but the soap comes with it. So it's on Vanillet's website. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, ooh. Nice and cool. I want a little more. Just because I can. Oh. That feels real good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And somewhere here. There it is. There's the ball. And this is mentholated as well. With or without, you can get it. There we go. Mm. 
Nice. Maybe a little too much, but who says you can't have too much of a good thing? So, that's our shave for today. Refreshing. <sighs> nice, smooth. Parker, 78R. Mild but effective. For the price, I think it was $26 is what it goes on for. They're available for, from Parker, uh, Super Shave Safety Razors, and they're available on Amazon. And I think they're both the same price. I think they're $26, listed $26 on each one. For the price point, it's a good razor. Check it out. All right. Ah. Uh, what are we doing Saturday? I think I'm going to be doing a couple of uh, shoots for Henson and for Supply. Both companies which I am now a brand ambassador of. I'm going to start using their product a little more often. Uh, if shaving is not one of the most invigorating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. As always, be good to yourselves and to each other. Have a great weekend and smooth shaves. Take care.